Hey folks, how y'all doing today? Or this evening? I'm making a video of installing a FlexNet or FlexNet DC from Outback Power. Um, it's a FlexNet DC or FNDC, they call it. Anyway, I'm measuring, and it comes off my hub. As you see, my Cat5 cable. It comes through here. And it's communicating with my hub to my whole battery system. And this is the indicator lights right here. It says that we're fully charged on my battery bank. And uh, push that bevel together. Anyway, yeah, I made me a little bracket. I stick it on there next to my Bogart. And I got shunt A, which is right here. A is the green and white wire. It is the green and white wire that's up here. Uh, let me take my light. Um, the green and whoa, the green and white wire is up in here. You see the green, and the white, and one's going to my battery side, and the other's going to my load side. The white's on the load, and the darker color, the green, goes on the on the battery side of the shunt. All right. And same thing with over here, but I already got it closed up. Sorry about that. But on my, this is going to my uh, my wind diversion control loader right here. It's actually a, a photo, photovoltaic combiner box that I made into. I got a 500 amp shunt in there, and I got the shunt in there after I measured the wind power. And that's the orange and white. Going to, to going there to my 500 amp shunt. So yeah, I, I just wanted to show you a little video of what I've been up to this evening. Now I got to do now <laughs> is charge this bad boy up to the um. I got to uh take it and program it to my Mate 3, which is going to be a probably a nice little task, but nice little piece of equipment here. But oh, sorry about that. <laughs> But right here, we got my white wire coming in here. Um, the actually the black is the is the positive, and the white is the negative. Sounds kind of strange, but this is the way it's set up. And it goes it throughout that wire access hole back there to my battery bank. But yeah, and I got the hot wire. With the five amp fuse, inline fuse, right here, and I got my black negative wire right here, as you see, going into the uh, the black is going into the white. Uh, so anyway, we'll give it a shot, and this is an update of my install. And right here, it shows you on the Mate three. I got a big mess in here. <laughs> Sorry about that. But it says right here. Uh, but, but I went on my data logging. It would say FlexNet DC. And it tells you a little bit of everything. How much power you bought in a day. Kilowatts from each shunt. Kilowatt hours, the top max amps. Watts, all that good stuff. And it'll show you a graph which I don't have a graph yet because it just started up a little, just a little bit ago. But anyway, I just want to give you a little update what I've been up to. So and this is the Mate 3. Anyway, all right, y'all. Well, this is a little quick update. I'll show you how it's doing after I get it set up. But this is a KVSMC. And thank you for watching, and please subscribe. Y'all have a good night, y'all. It's Friday night. Hey, y'all have a good time now. All right, take care. Over and out. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.